And a big sign of the holiday weekend in Louisville, World Fest returns in just three days to showcase all of the different cultures represented in the metro. Very exciting event and very fun one. Yeah, so we're joined now by Amos Izerimana from the city's Immigrant Affairs Office. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Glad We're so you, glad you're, oh, sorry. I was going to say glad you managed to wake up this early <laughs> for us. It is yes. very early, but uh, Amos, first we want to get into the importance of World Fest. Having this event every year in Louisville, what does that mm -hmm. mean for you all? Well, so we're celebrating 22 years this year, right? And um, in the last 22 years, you know, our immigrant population has grown mm -hmm. very, you know, dramatically. Um, you know, now almost about 10% of the population mm -hmm. is foreign born. And, you know, we have now 100 nationalities represented here in Louisville, over 150 languages spoken in JCPS. And I think that's very, very important that we not only you know, highlight that diversity in our community, but also our newcomers that come to Louisville can feel a sense of belonging, that they can see themselves, that this city cares about them, and that this city welcomes them. Yeah, you're right, the flag JCPS, we talked about that earlier in the week or last week, and, and that, that's the daily symbol of, of right. how diverse we are. Uh, what kind of entertainment can people expect to see at World Fest? Because this is something that people flock to every mm. year. Yeah, so I mean, you have four stages at the Belvedere you know, for, for the entire weekend. And one of the things, so this year we're working with the Jay Wagner Group and uh, Juju Presents, who's the, the, the producer for our entertainment. Um, and one of the highlights for me is uh, uh, Twin Jabi, which is uh, a local you know, Indian American group, you mm -hmm. know, twins from, who are Indian American that grew up here, that, you know, that you know, just enjoyed um, you know, uh, celebrating their cultures through music. And so they're gonna be one of the highlights on Sunday. Um, and you know you'll have you know music from all over you know Hawaii to to Europe to you know Africa South America. I think you know what, whatever time you can make it to the mm -hmm. Belvedere, you definitely mm -hmm. find some entertainment to enjoy. Well, I miss last thing. Anything special happening for the Parade of Cultures this year? So uh, the Parade of Culture again is always uh, done on Saturday at noon, and so we're really look, looking forward to that as well. You know with. Over again, over 100 nationalities represented here to you know, to see all those nationalities, you know, rep, you know, represented as we walk down on Fifth yeah. Street right here to the Belvedere. I think it's just always special. It's such an amazing sight, Amos. Thank you so very much. We've got the details for you on your screen. We can throw them back up there, but we'll tell you World Fest is Friday through Monday at the Belvedere, as you mentioned. We'll post that link to the event on our homepage, whas11.com. Folks are going to want to pack the water for that one, though, Sam.